let's stitch sheaf stitch. You need your teeth in to say that. <laughs> anyway, it's a lovely little stitch. Looks like little bundles of wheat, a little sweeties. Um, you'll need three strands of thread. Just tie a knot in the end and trim the excess. So we're going to stitch a straight stitch, which will be in the middle of this stitch. And then we're going to do two either side. So one on the left and one on the right. Keep them equally spaced in the same length if you can. There we go. Right, now what I'm going to do is bring my needle up through fabric in the middle and to the side. You try not to pierce the stitches if you can because otherwise that will just change the effect. Now I'm going to take the working thread over the top I'm going to take my needle underneath those stitches, so not through the fabric at all, just under the stitching. Pull it gently. You might want to put it down on a flat surface and just make sure it's in the middle. Take it over again and do the same. Use your needle to guide it if you want to. There we go. So you can see that's brought them all together and then all we need to do just take the needle back down there and can tie off at the back. That's cute, isn't it? I like it a lot, this one. Easy to do. That's sheaf stitch.